Boy, we got a good one. <laughs> Check this out. So, just as in the days of old, they're still doing the same thing in this day and age. You got people out there running around teaching their own doctrine, right? Let's get right into this. I'm in 1 Timothy. I'm going to pick it up at verse 3. It says, As I besought you to abide still at Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia, that you might charge some that they teach no other doctrine whoa that's right they was twisting it all back then too man trying to make it sound good for their own sake can't do that neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do so if it's in faith so what does he say over there? He says, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are holy, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are of good report, whatsoever things are virtuous, think on these things, right? So if you got some brothers running out there playing dress up and uh, they running around trying to reprimand everybody and telling everybody else how they're doing it wrong instead of saying, hey, this is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, Jesus said to love your neighbor like you love yourself and to love your God more than anything else. <laughs> that pretty much throws away all that rep you know, uh, telling people they don't know the name of Jesus or they don't know the proper enunciation on how to say his name. I mean, is it really that difficult? I believe everybody in the upper room on the, on the, on the Feast of Pentecost heard the Holy Spirit speak in their own tongue. <laughs> That's right, in their own tongue. So you really think he's going to drop us off with the English language and stop hearing us? I believe it was Cornelius, a Roman soldier in which an angel appeared too and said, we've heard your prayers and gave him instructions, told him what to do. So y'all boys out there playing dress up, you need to back off because we're all just children. We're all just children trying to get this right. Let me read you something here. It says, uh, right there in verse 5, it says, Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart. Charity out of a pure heart? Can you allow this old hillbilly a little bit of leniency on uh, how I say Jesus or the color of my skin or my beard, my woolly old beard, I might add? You know what I'm saying? You go over here to 2 Timothy, check this out. He's saying the same exact thing over here. This is the second letter he had to write to these people. Check it out. He says it's right here. He says, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be in season, be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You can't go creating your own doctrine. You can't go creating your own garb. You can't go creating your own following. You you know, you can't do that. It says they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they have heaped to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. So you being turned unto fables, whether they're uh, Judaizing you with those types of fables, you know, like uh, you got to wear a certain thing, you got to look a certain way, you got to act a certain way, you got to do all these certain things to, to get into the kingdom of the Lord. Well, no, I don't believe you do. I want to show you something here real quick here. I believe it's over here in Corinthians. Uh, Corinthians, Corinthians. Or no, it's over here in the book of Romans. It's right here in the book of Romans. Let me read you something. Let me burst everybody's bubble right now. You ready? It says it right here. If you shall confess that with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, or the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. <laughs> you ain't got to wear a certain garb. You ain't got to be a certain color. You believe and you confess with your mouth the King of glory, the creator of all, the Son of God, our Father, Elohim. 
and you believe in your heart that he raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. And I promise you'll go to digging into these scriptures and figuring out who I'm talking about. Peace out. Y'all have a good day. Get in them Bibles and read. And some of you stiff neck brothers need to back off just a little bit, man. Maybe return to your first love. Jesus. You know that Hebrew Israelite Jesus? 